Now, at this history-making moment in which man has first landed on the moon, we are entering a new era in space. The NASA Lunar Receiving Laboratory contains not only the most advanced scientific facilities and comfortable living accommodations, but its kitchen, with its reliance on modern frozen foods and microwave and quartz cooking units, is in the forefront of a new era in food preparation. Microwave cooking units, like those in the NASA Lunar Receiving Laboratory and this test kitchen, are indeed revolutionary. Keep your eye on the chocolate cupcake. It rises faster than you can eat it. For a main course, how about a delicacy like lobster tails? Ready in less than a minute, with no shrinkage or shriveling, since there is no furnace-like blast of heat. This is cooking by microwave, cooking without heat. Yet the kitchen of the NASA Manned Spacecraft Center's Lunar Receiving Laboratory, limited in its space and in the time its personnel can devote to preparing meals, is designed primarily for the rapid heating of previously prepared cuisines, particularly frozen foods. The modern miracle of quartz and microwave ovens are here, coupled with the advances made in modern frozen food technology. The foods consumed in the NASA Lunar Receiving Laboratory are the results of extensive recipe development and research during the past two years in ultra-modern test kitchens. These foods meet or exceed the high standards of quality and purity set by the NASA Manned Spacecraft Center and have been selected for taste appeal by both astronauts and panels of food experts. In short, for those like the astronauts in the Lunar Receiving Laboratory who must have quality food prepared at maximum speed, there is now the perfect marriage, as in this demonstration kitchen, between the freezer and the microwave and quartz ovens. Such frozen foods as soups, vegetables, and these escalloped apples, piping hot and ready to serve in a few seconds. Delicious entrees like lobster Newburgh, quickly heated to perfection. And desserts frozen solid, like Swiss chocolate cake, thawed and ready to eat in five seconds. Microwave cooking especially is part of the technological fallout, particularly in the field of radar from the past two decades of research and development, which has culminated in 1969's landing on the moon. Developed as the basic power unit for all these radar tracking stations is an electron tube, the magnetron. And it was discovered that this same magnetron could be used as the primary power unit in microwave ovens. The magnetron, in short, is an electron tube which transmits microwaves, which are much like radio and television waves. But a TV station transmits microwaves of a selected frequency in all directions, and any TV set tuned to that station's frequency picks up part of the transmitted energy and processes it into sound and pictures. Inside a microwave oven, the magnetron similarly transmits waves of energy. But since microwaves cannot penetrate metal, they are channeled inside a metal pipe down into the oven cavity. Since the cavity is also walled by metal, there's no place for the microwaves to go but into the food, whose molecular structure absorbs and converts the energy in the form of heat. Yet the nature of food is such that only the food, like this macaroni and cheese, becomes hot. The metal oven, as well as the glass or paper containers, which are all non-conductors of microwaves, remain cool. The new era in food preparation features quality frozen foods served with unprecedented speed and efficiency. Some of the astronauts' favorite dishes include breast of chicken, beef pie, short ribs, and lobster Newburgh. Not surprisingly, many of them are the same as those available at the local supermarket for cooking in conventional kitchens. We live in an age of unprecedented technological achievements scientific adventures whose full benefits to mankind cannot as yet be fully foreseen. 
Yet man's greatest adventure may be more than a monumental landing on the moon. It may well be the ever-increasing acquisition of techniques and knowledge, technology that can make the quality of life for all mankind richer and more bountiful.